latest build. This one is a Skylake i7 base, based, based on the 6700K. Also running a uh, 8 Hero from ASUS along with a Corsair H110, I believe. And we also have a GTX 960. It's the Galax version. Also has a nice custom PCB with a white backplate and LED lighting on the bottom as you can see on the fans. It's really nice. Um, we also got the lighting kit from, I believe it was, I don't remember exactly which company it was from, but these were on sale at Canada Computers for like $15. I'm probably going to end up grabbing a pair as well for my rig that I'm going to be building later. But it's fully RGB, so you got different colors that you can scroll through. I'll just really scroll through them. Got purple, orange, orange just more like a white. Got blue, we got purple, lighter orange, shows the white on the, on the phone, got like a blue, another purple, so yeah, as you can see, it's really solid bill, also got a 250 gig Samsung Evo in there, along with a western digital black 1TB hard drive, he doesn't want to overclock the CPU, which is alright for now, but later he might choose to do so, it's just for some light steam gaming and all, so. All in all, it's a nice, a nice system. He has an EVGA 750 watt power supply in there. It's a gold one, and I, he also has a custom sleeve cable kit. So it's pretty, it was pretty relatively easy to install. Um, for the most part, the only hassle was just figuring out exactly which cables he needed solely because the cable modded kits, um, they do not have like peripheral and SATA marked on them. So it was just really a matter of like matching up the pins, like looking at them and checking the shapes and making sure that they match. Because the 8 pin CPU up here was also similar to the 8-pin GPU over here, really similar, so I ended up going through like like two packages, just trying to figure out the exact one that fit it, um, it was just a matter of really checking. Other than that, um, the H110 cannot be installed in the other direction solely because the leads coming out through here would interfere with the hard drive caddies over there, so, yeah, I mean, other than that, it's really good build, not really any issues, um, so, yeah, Monster PCs, one of another builds. NZXT Noctis 450K slight LEDs. You like it, man? Yeah. Yeah, it's a really good build. Like, you just want to be here gaming all the time. Actually, you got you anything you want to say? No. Thanks. No? All right. No problem, man. So, that is it.